And this is going to be banging. We've already tested the sound this time. So it's not going to sound like shit like last time. I'm sweating because of the amount of shoes I've had to pull out of boxes and I've realised I have a problem. Yay! Welcome to me showing off my shoes. I was going to arrange them and do them in a particular order, but to be completely honest, I'm too hot to wear this hood. I was going to categorise them and tell you a little about each one and whatever, and I'll still do the little bit about each one or a fact of what I like about it, but I have so many uh, that there is no clear categories for all of them, and um, my lovely assistant Fiona is just going to pass me one, each pair, one by one, and uh, I'm going to quickly show them off, see if I can name what the model is and who it is and what it is. Maybe reel off a fact or two and um, yeah, get straight fuck into it. So, uh, what are you doing? Would you like a candle lit? Why would I like a candle? Set the atmosphere. Set the app. Okay. Uh, sure. Do you I mean, mind me, everyone? I don't understand why everyone wants to get like romantic with shoes. I know some fucking freaks are out there, but. Thanks, sweetie. You're always looking after mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's start with your grossest pair. Yeah. Okay, so I use these for the fucking shops at the moment, but I think they're one of the only pair of vans I own. The only pair, I think so. Gosha Rubchinsky vans. Touch. Very popular when they came out. Touch. So fucking Gosha Tushkitsky. Love them when the shop still. My friend Yev really, really wants these and he's never getting them, so fuck you, Yev. Uh, next, all white Yeezys. I don't like the 350s, but I do really. They're a weird one where I feel like if they didn't have Yeezy on them, which these ones don't, I would like them. If these were just an Adidas shoe, I'd use them as beaters and just a cool white trainer. Sometimes for airports, sometimes for sporty situations, or just slipping onto the shops and shit. Next, there's a special pair, which would be Fiona's favorite pair of shoes that I have, which is these, whatever the name is, Uggs, that have this sort of like um, tribally sort of situation going on. And we use these for our UG ventures. UG ventures. Yeah, to the shops. Fiona has matching ones and we wear them together because we're adorable like that. Okay, next. Thanks Bobby and Post for sending me these. Um, the Post Malone Crocs. I'm pissed I didn't get the first ones. I should have fucking tried way harder to get them, but I was fortunately given these, the second ones, which I like more. And I wish I had both, but I do prefer these. And these are my favourite airport shoes slash shoe if I really, really want to piss Fiona off. These are the shoes to wear. But yeah, Crocs. Who knew? Birkenstock, foamy, beach slides, what I use. They're too big, I'm going to get a new pair. Thank you. Next, Balenciaga Triple S. These are the first ones that were made in Italy. I don't really wear these anymore. Um, but I think they're an important trainer and I'm never going to sell these and I'm going to keep them forever. I think they're a good little um, situation to grail, you know? So yeah, these shits. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, they're so fucking heavy, I completely forgot. Okay, next. Nike Zach Eyes, red and blue. Awesome, awesome trainer. So awesome that I got the white ones too. And yeah, love these, love the shape. Super good for summer, they're so light and breezy. The netting means they're like really cool for summer so you don't get too hot. And just love the silhouette, it goes everything. And love them even so much that I'm still not sure about these. And I think I like them and they're cool for beaters because the price was good. But I have the blazers too. This is my first high top Nike in a long time. And I'm still not sure how I feel about them. But I think I like them. I saw one guy wear an outfit with them once, they were so good. And I was just like, I have to try and see if I can work them myself. And it worked out a little bit. Next. If you're gonna throw them like that, you're cleaning all of them up. I am cleaning all of them up. You said you wouldn't help me, so, you know. I'm helping you now. I know you're helping me now, but you said you wouldn't help with the clean up, huh? Next, we have um, my Kiko Asics collection. You're categorizing me, I said I wasn't gonna do this, so thank you so much for the help, see? You are useful for, for you know, something every now and again. Yeah. <laughs> These are um, some of my favorite ever trainers. Out of all my trainers in my collection, there's a group I've probably worn these the most. They're so different, they go with everything, they're so comfortable, I fucking love the colors and the design. He's a genius. Um, these are the marzipan ones from the second 
collection. These are the first ones that I have. I wish I got all three colors of these, the gray, the neon, and these, but I needed some black trainers at the time. So when the Burrs one came out, which these you are, I think. You needed black trainers. Yep. Yeah, I needed something. Um, <laughs> these came out and I was like, they're fucking awesome. And I've worn them to death. I still wear them like at least probably once a week still. And these came out fucking ages ago and they're dead, but I love them. Then I got the same one as those. I think this is the collection afterwards, the color, the color collection afterwards. I love the teal on these. I've never seen a shoe with like teal and like lavender like this. They're very unique, but surprisingly not difficult to wear. I love them very much. As you can tell, the theme of this is uh, I love my trainers. Uh, and the latest ones I just got, which I haven't worn yet, are his new ones, which I'm really, really excited to wear. I fucking love the color. I love the fact that they let him do his complete own shoe with own molds. They made new molds for him and let him take a complete, complete, like, control of the shoe, which is really fucking cool. So, yeah, I'm excited to wear these. I think it's jockey inspired, as in horse jockey. I have a chapped mouth. You're definitely in the shop for all these, which I like. I'm not. I'm so sure you are. I'm so sure I'm not. Okay, next, Rick Owens, Birkenstocks. Don't wear them that off them, still love them though. Who doesn't want pony skin and fucking sliders? Love them very much. I've got them dirty shit. I mean, obviously. Thanks, my love. Easy season six. Orthopedic sort of, you know, like hospital sandals, which I love. And I don't know why I haven't worn these more, because they're very comfortable. And these are also very unique, and but easy to wear. I think unique and easy to wear is a great thing for a shoe. Like if you find a pair that's like no one has, or very few people have, but you know, you don't, have to, you don't care, do you? One time I wore those to the nail salon, because I didn't have sandals. Did you look like you worked there? Because these are the kind of sandals that They made that fun of me. Oh. That was when I knew what they were saying because they were road? speaking. No, in Paddington. Oh, okay. Because they were speaking Chinese and I was on the phone with my mom. Yeah. My mom's like, they're making fun of you. And it was because of those shoes. Or, or where, whichever now sign Paddington. Easy. Prada, nylon, sandals, love them. Fallen out of love with these ones a little bit. They're but gone. I'm going to keep them and I like them a lot. They're very Tyler the Creator inspired. Are you standing on my fucking shoes, bruv? I'm going to knock you out. These are a bit dead. Not sure if I like them anymore, but probably going to keep them just for the grail. <laughs> these I'm wearing a lot more and still wear a lot. Just the sort of like navajo -y inspired ones that look like the Visvim ones, which I'd also love a pair of. Black, Prada, slides. But <laughs> sticking with the theme of black and Prada, quickly. Cloudbursts, uh, all black. Very, very easy to wear. Not sure if I like them anymore, but on saying that, I wear them fucking loads. And they're cool beaters. They're very comfy for the club. And uh, they're not particularly easy to get dirty, so that's good, and they wipe down easy, so yeah. And I love the sole. The sole is really cool, the sole design. But yeah, cloudless. This is taking so long, fuck this. Malibu Missoni sliders, one of my favorite shoes in the collection at the moment. Also, J.B. Anderson sliders, the ugliest things I've ever seen. Love both of them very much. Um, I can't explain my obsession with ugly sliders at the moment. These are fucking cool. Can't wait till summer comes around so I can wear these way more. Same with these. I'm gonna stop wearing them in the house because they piss Fiona off so much. It makes me very happy. Next, I haven't worn these in a long time, and these are probably part of my like archive. Celine women's trainers, but they did. Fortunately, I'm not the biggest size in men, so like I think the second to biggest women's size fits me. I'm a UK seven and a half, like a UK eight seven. Uh, 41 in like European sizes, so like the biggest women's sizes usually fits me, which is cool. But yeah, these little Celine pumps, very cute. Next, I have my Prada Derbies, which is sort of like weddings and my more sort of like formal shit um, when I actually need to dress up, which is very, very rarely. I have these because of my beautiful friend Seb, and thank you to Prada for giving them me because I went to a masquerade ball with Prada and they gave me these shoes and I managed, and I got to wear like one of their tuxedos and they gave me this beautiful mask which I think I've shown in another video before. Okay. Um, yeah, shown this like insane mask but yeah, to the animal ball. So thank you, Prada. Love you all. <laughs> uh, next, haven't worn these in a long time but had to get them because I just want something out of this collection. Louis Vuitton Supreme trainers basically look like 
luxury and feel like luxury Reebok classics. Um, which is what I'm sure they're going for, not Reebok, but that just sort of like beta shoe style. Um, just cool to have something from that collection. I used to just wear these to the club because they're the tankiest, most like resilient shoes I've ever, ever worn. They're such good quality. But um, archive, peace. And they make you tall. And they make me tall. Which I don't really care about, but for some reason a lot of people do. Those are disgusting. Yeah, I know. Ooh. I need to get these like recrept, but it takes a long time to recrep a soul. Really? Churches, Derby's, um, all black. These are beaten as fuck, but I love them. And I need to wear these more. After pulling out all these shoes, I've realized how many fucking shoes I actually have. And I need to wear all them more. Um, but I absolutely fucking love these. They're worn to death. I used to wear them a lot more when I was wearing a lot more tailored trousers, but I need to invest in a few more tailored trousers again. Ah! Black Common Projects, don't really need to say a lot. Easiest shoe I've ever worn in my entire life. The most neutral classic shoe ever. And I have a pair of grey ones just over there that I will show you as well. Thanks, sweetie. Beaten to fuck, had them for years, but super easy. Next are, which I got recently, are some, the, this is the first ever Rower Elix collaboration shoe, if I'm not mistaken. This is the first pair they ever did. Um, yeah, Fibram Souls, really, really cool. Didn't think I'd be into them too much, but it turns out I've worn them quite a bit. Just a cool little hiking shoe. I kind of want to wear them more. Maybe get another style of this as well to try and play around with. Oh my God, this is fucking ridiculous. I can't believe how many shoes we still have to go. Nike, Daybreak, SP, such a cute color. Me and Fiona twinned on them. We saw them, we were like, we have to get these. Love them so much. Very, very classic colorway. Very close to the Mars Yard colorway. And I like that sort of pop of colour on this tan, camely beigey colour. But yeah, really easy, nice summer shoe. Oh my god, this is fucking horrendous. Okay, so next, boots. Saint Laurent had these for fucking three years now. The Ranger boots, which they discontinued, if I'm not mistaken. Beaten to absolute shit, but still wear them so often, love them so much. Perfect black boot. Had them resold many times because the sole came off, which is ridiculous. Saint Laurent, step your game up. Love them. Oh, we're going this way. Next, my new favorite pair of boots of all time, probably. Um, obviously, the Celine designer is the same shit, so they're basically Celine boots, but Bottega brown with the rubber eyes, black around them. So fucking perfect. Love them with every outfit. I'm trying to not wear them every single day because I love them so much. Uh, ugh, I'm running out of space to throw these boots. These are Calvin Klein. I have fucking yet to wear them, and I'm very disappointed I'm yet to wear them, but I'm saving them for something super special. They are so fucking beautiful, and I just don't know what to do with them, really. Insane color, like the finish is amazing. It's like it's almost like thick latexy sort of thing, baby pink. The hard, fucking thick ass black sole, they're so fucking sexy. Kind of want to, like, you know, but I just don't know where to wear them. Someone's fucking fancy ass wedding, my own wedding. Uh, Calvin Klein, love that. Saint Laurent, Wyatt's, Chelsea boot, Wyatt Chelsea boots? I don't know if even the Wyatt, whatever. Beaten to fuck, still pretty good condition considering how long I've had them, same time as the Saint Laurent boots. Love them so much. Easy, look better with age. Sexy little fucking bootini, no? Okay. My favorite Prince boots. I bought these because I love Prince and I just assumed these are something he would wear. Saint Laurent, patent leather. They're a little bit fucked up now, and they're so fucking tight on me, and they've kind of like torn a little bit, but I just love them so much that I don't really actually want to ever get rid of them. And um, they're just the best, like, I love them very much. They're, um, I've had good memories in these boots, done some cool shit in them. But yeah, painted some of boots. Another one of my favorite Pez boots, probably comes in second, is my Hyderachim and Blue Tees. I've forgotten the fucking model name of these, but sexiest shape of a black boot ever. I still wear them all the time to like all formal occasions where I can get away with wearing a boot. And uh, they just drop so fucking nicely with everything. And I've got some chewing gum on the back of this one. And whatever that is, lots of hair. Ooh. That's um, definitely my hair. Yeah, it's definitely your hair. And yeah, highly recommend blue boots, sexy as fuck. Love all the details about them. Portuguese soul. <laughs> Okay, next, 
Dachu's JJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJJ
love the shape too. Probably one of the most comfortable pairs of shoes in my entire collection as well. And obviously they're made for running and shit, but yeah. Anything that the broken arm does and touches, fucking kill the game. Love them very much. <laughs> fucking ridiculous, I'm getting an ab workout. Margiela replicas, my newer ones that I still wear every now and again but I haven't worn for a while. My first pair of fashion shoes that I bought in London, these were, these are fucking old bro. I used to wear them every single day on the shop floor. Love them very much. Very much like the Common Projects, very classic, very easy to wear. Probably my most like preppy, n closest to like normal quote, quote, trainers. Love them. Bro, I'm delirious. How many shoes I've picked up and I don't know what I'm saying. It, you, I think for most of this I've just said like, I love them. It's entirely It's not, I'm trying to listen to what people want. This is me responding to the public, okay? Loser, Loewe loafers, slip-ons, fake croc embossed, absolutely love the detail of where you can push them down, and just like the contrast here is one of my favourite features on one of like all my shoes, I love these very much, I've already worn these way too many times. Old ass Gucci fucking loafers that you just can't not have a pair and appreciate what Alessandro has done for the brand, love them very much, I've worn these to death, haven't worn them in a long ass time. Also, these two are the most comfortable black loafers I've ever fucking worn in my entire life. Like, you just, they're as comfortable as a lot of my trainers. They're very, 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 very special to me. Both these pairs. Ah! Oh my god. Can I have these two? Oh my god, on the last fucking two pairs. Oh, I forgot what these are called. Oh, Reacts. Yeah, that's it. Nike Reacts. Second to last pair. Oh, Jesus Christ. Love this colorway. Very, very unique. I'm not usually a big fan of fluorescent stuff, but I think it works really well on these trainers. Kinda wish I got some of the first pairs that got gifted out, like the white and the blacks. I, I love these love these to death, and I, I would like the all white pair, which came out first, but yeah, the shape's really, really cool. Got some good use out of these. Probably not gonna wear them anymore, but definitely keepers. And fucking finally, my Desert Rat. Yeezys, very good in the desert, very comfortable. I'm not sure how I feel about them. They're very unique and I'm always gonna keep them, I think, because they're just so interesting. I think my style's turning away from them now, but very glad I have them. And uh, that's fucking it. Holy shit. I have a headache and I'm dehydrated from the amount of fucking shoes I've just picked up. I have a problem. What's wrong with me? Who knows? I hope you all enjoyed my shoes because this is gonna be a bitch to edit because I have a feeling this is gonna be really fucking long. Because I talked way more than I thought I was going to talk. But hey ho. So uh, yeah. That was my shoes. What else do you want to see? What else are we going to film soon? We want to film the fucking... Oh, we want to film a roast about houses on Architectural Digest. Because we fucking love that program, don't we? Nope. He's staying quiet. Okay. But yeah. We're going to film some more roasts. Because that's apparently all I can do. So uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed my shoes. And uh... Probably gonna go out and buy some more right now because I clearly don't have enough.